Welcome to my porch. I'm Dave Brown. I'm with Christians for Common Sense. And beautiful morning today. It is, we have some really strange events happening in the last week or so that has given me a great deal of concern. And uh, primarily in the type of a situation that we are facing, or that I believe that we might be facing very soon, but I know we're going to be facing it one way or another down the road. And that is Christians, conservatives, hello cat, Christians and conservatives are going to be designated as domestic terrorists. We think of our Constitution, we think of our survival, we think of storing food, becoming self-sufficient, and what's happening in the schools and throughout the, the country. It's just a matter of time before what happened in Germany with the Jews is going to happen with conservative Christians and Jews. I think we're going to be facing a lot of problems. One of the movies that I really enjoy and I hope you watch is Defiance and uh, Daniel Craig and about the Belinsky brothers in Poland and how they saved thousands of Jews by wandering through the, the countryside. And primarily what they had to uh, eat, they made soups in order to feed the thousands of people that they had they had to make soups, and I think we're going to be in that situation. So, in my own personal storage, I have stored things that I can make different types of soups, lots of beans and rice and so forth. And consequently, when you have those kind of areas, you'll need, you'll need water. How do we get water? How do we, and that is the primary situation, and it's, uh, we've got to have water. So if you're wandering through the bushes or you're having to wander through the fields and you come across a well, how can we get water out of that well when we don't have electricity? That's why I wanted to talk to you about this it's called the well bucket. The next video I do, we'll talk about uh, talk about this thing. This is you pour water in it, goes through a filtration system, and you'll have water spout here. But this is homemade, and I'll show you how we make it. But that's in our next one because I we could go on for for an hour. And I don't believe anybody's going to watch it that long. So, right now, let's talk about how do we get water out of a well when we don't have electricity. Generally speaking, or I'm hoping, you can't just walk around with a big monkey wrench, a big pipe wrench. So, I'm hoping that when you find a well, it's probably going to be in a farm or a ranch or something of that nature. And hopefully, if the patrons are not there, or even if they are there, that we can work together, but that you can find a pipe wrench somewhere in the barn or the garage, uh, make some sort of a, a way in which you can pull the well, the pump, out of the well. Now, there's going to be an electrical cord attached to that pump, but you got to take the, the head off, right? So somehow or another, and everyone's got a little different program as far as their well goes, we need to take the head off. We need to open up the well. And then we can insert our bucket. Now this is a, by number 10 cans, a number 10, uh, 10, 10 can. And I've, I've done it this large so that you can see the components. 
Now soup cans will work just as well if you have a smaller well. So if you can get, if you can find in the garbage three or four soup cans, or if by chance you made it and you got it in the garage for storage. So I've attached two number 10, uh, 10 cans with duct tape. Very simple, not a big deal. Uh, punch a couple holes on top so you have a way to, to hang it. And the bottom. Now the bottom is what I want to explain. You can see that there's holes all the way around the bottom. This bolt and washers is just a weight. So we drill holes around the bottom and then inside is a little rubber baffle. The idea is is that with the weight of the washers and the bolt this well bucket will sink, will hit the top of the water and the weight will sink it down. The water will go through these little holes and push the baffle away and it will fill up the whole container full of water. And then when you start extracting the bucket from the hole, the baffle will then close off the holes not entirely, it's not entirely waterproof. It will leak depending on the type of baffle that you use. Now, the one that I used was a bicycle tire. The inner tube, cut up the inner tube of, the, of a bicycle tire, and I've used it for here. If you can find other such things that you can find around the, the ranch, then fine, use something like that. This is just a bolt with a bunch of washers to give it weight. So when you begin to pull it out, the water will, the weight of the water in the can, once it reaches, come out of the water, will push the baffle down across the holes and then you just haul it up. Now, a lot of people are saying, oh my gosh, I don't have a rope long enough. It, might, it needs to be however long the pump is. Well, use the wire when you pull the pump out, attach it to your well bucket because you have exactly the length of the, the hole or the well that you're, you're using. So just use that. And if that's not enough, then attach a telephone wire or something of that. There's telephone wires all over the place. So you can always find a wire of something to attach to your well bucket. And then you bring it up. So that is what is called a well bucket. I don't know if you can buy these things commercially, but they're so easy to construct, you can make it yourself, okay? Now, if and you want to have a little more advanced training on how to survive the coming disaster that is coming to our shores, uh, I've written a book. And it's, are you ready? Now, I've lived off the grid for over eight years with my family. Homeschooled. I've learned a lot about how to make these kind of things by being, in a sense, forced into it, living off the grid. So, not only have I written a book, I've lived it. I've been in two riots. I've been in two major floods in Houston and Baton Rouge and the, the riots were in Dominican Republic and the Watts riots in Los Angeles with the military. So when I wrote this book, I actually lived it. I didn't just read a, four or five other books and then say, well, I'm an expert. No, I lived it. So it's on Amazon. It's on an ebook, or you can, old school, I like a book. But it's on Amazon and it's underneath my name, David E. Brown. And you'll also find my other book, which is God Gave America to Be Free. This is a 250-page book on our beginning of America. And I highly recommend it. I wrote this book because I tried to find a book on American history that wasn't adulterated with all the liberal stuff for my own teaching of my own children on homeschool. So I ended up putting together this book for them. So now I'm giving it to you.
So I have other things on YouTube. I appreciate your comments. I'll, I'll have it on my website. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with me. And may God bless America. May God bless you. And please refer this video if, you, if you'd like to other people. I'd greatly appreciate it. We need to. I'm not in it for money. I'm in it to alert and to teach people how to live through the coming destruction and problems that we have. But may God bless. I'll see you next time.